Hello, judges. Thank you for being here. My name is Ashmita, and on behalf of Code Blue, I am proud to present FAST, a life saving app that detects facial asymmetry. These are my teammates, Erica and June. Our mentor is Porvesh Sharma. Did you know that every 40 seconds, someone has a stroke? That every four minutes, someone dies of one? 87% of strokes are ischemic, meaning they block blood flow to the brain. They destroy the body through such blockages, which makes them the leading cause of long-term disability. Strokes can rob a person of memory, speech, and identity. And the worst part is that they can occur at any age. 34% of strokes happen to those under 65, contrary to what people expect. Strokes are terrifying and they're a widespread and prevalent problem. However, the decision to code this app was far more personal for me. My grandfather was hit with a series of strokes before I was born that robbed his ability to talk, form new memories, or even take care of himself. While I've heard stories of the man he used to be, in my memory, he is helpless, unable to recognize his own family members. Because of him, I grew up knowing that strokes were a dangerous part of my family history. Then, two weeks ago, half of my dad's face started drooping. He had noticed this for two days, but despite seeing this happen to his own father during the stroke, despite being highly educated, he did not go to the hospital. My sister caught the symptoms and there was a mad rush to the ER as my mom tried to get him treatment. We were lucky that day. It wasn't a stroke, but instead Bell's palsy. But it got me wondering, what happens to the people who live alone, who don't have others to recognize the symptoms of the disease? What happens if people cannot recognize the symptoms? And how do you force someone to seek treatment if they've had facial asymmetry, which is one of the first signs of stroke or neurological ailments? It was then that the idea for this app was born. So far, Ashmita has talked about the problem and, what, and we've looked at why we chose to design this app. Now let's talk about demand for the product. To gauge the interest of potential users, we created a survey asking about feelings on a stroke detection product and about personal experience with strokes. We used the 35 responses to guide us in product development. 83% of respondents indicated that users would feel more secure if there was a way to catch a stroke or neurological disorder early. This means that there is a market for our product. When asked how they would react to someone experiencing stroke symptoms, respondents overwhelmingly replied, call 911, call emergency, or go to a hospital, or call a close relative. This feedback indicates that a notification system to alert emergency services and contacts would be valuable to users. We also received concerns about privacy that shows us the transparency users expect about how their cameras and data are being used. Sorry, I was muted. Uh, June has told you about the demand and the resulting product. Now I'm going to talk about its novelty and future improvements. When it comes to AI in medicine, the possibilities are virtually infinite. Because facial recognition technology is so powerful, researchers are publishing papers on the potential of using AI to identify paralysis before a stroke. Technology like viz.ai is being deployed in hospitals to recognize dangerous patterns in patient CT scans. Apps like Face-to-Face -face focus on patient recovery after they have experienced facial paralysis of a stroke. In contrast to existing products, FAST offers a combination of user-centered design and potentially life-saving AI. We developed FAST with the goal of providing an accessible product to users that proactively detect stroke symptoms so that they can seek treatment sooner. FAST is a web application designed to catch potential dangerous asymmetry in users' faces. Anyone can use this app, but it is especially meant to help those concerned about the risk of stroke. The goal is that users take advantage of the app to catch stroke symptoms early before long-term damage is done. The product can be used on any device with a camera and internet access, such as a phone or a laptop. 
Users can visit our website and create a unique account with preferences such as emergency contact saved. They can submit facial images to be tested for asymmetry using our convolutional neural network, trained with a data set of 1,024 uh, normal and 1,024 paralyzed face images. The image is then labeled as normal or asymmetrical with directions for the user to follow. If the results are normal, FAST will tell the user that he did not detect facial paralysis, but that they should continue to look out for symptoms. If the results are asymmetrical, FAST will prompt the user to call 911 or notify their preferred emergency contact immediately at the click of a button. This is our demo. Is the audio playing? We cannot hear audio. Oh, sorry. Let me share with sound. And so I'm here at the registration page of FAST, where new users can input their email address, username, password, and emergency contact phone number so that they can be contacted if asymmetry is detected. Returning users can log in with their emails and password. and they can access the home page. I'm currently on the FAST home page. Here we have some welcome text and a link to get started. Down here, we have some more information about our product and what it does. If we click the initial link, it takes us to the live facial asymmetry detection with some instructions. I can click detect asymmetry to see if our deep learning model detects any facial paralysis. After a few seconds, I'm notified that FAST does not detect asymmetry, and I'm directed to go to the Stroke Resources page where I can learn more useful information if needed. Okay, so here's the emergency contact page if dangerous facial asymmetry is detected. If I click this button, um, and have Erica as my emergency contact, uh, they will get both a call and a text. Right there. Very cool. We ran many tests of the model with different faces. This is an example of the convolutional neural network recognizing a face that is asymmetrical. We wanted to show this because none of our test cases, uh, like our faces, are asymmetrical, but this would allow you to see how the model does work on asymmetrical faces. Uh, next slide. Sorry, one sec. Okay. While we are currently limited by the number of publicly available data sets, as stroke patients' photos are protected by HIPAA, we are working to expand our data set to include more images and more diverse faces. We have already contacted one research team for permission to access their data set, and we plan on contacting more teams and universities. By adding thousands more images, we can increase our accuracy and decrease error, making our model more robust. We can also integrate speech recognition for slurred and slowed speech, because those are two other signs of a stroke that manifest early and can be life-saving if caught. We are developing a deep learning model to, um, to implement and tune once we get access to a dysarthric speech data set. Finally, for the users surveyed who would not mind a camera running in the background, we will create a camera plugin that works with Facial Unlock or another commonly used app in order to provide a continuous method of checking for facial asymmetry. We are confident that this app can help save lives through quick detection, and we are hopeful that you see it too. On behalf of Code Blue, I would like to thank the Sure Start team, our mentor Pravesh, and the judges for listening. We look forward to hearing your questions.